Number two, identify each of the following statements as being most similar to a hypothesis, a law, or a theory, and explain your reasoning. All right, so we got A, B, and C here. So what I'm just going to do right here quick is I'm going to just say A, B, and C. Now, before we get into it, let's just dive into what these three mean. I'm going to do it very quickly. We'll write it down here. So two different things. The starts is you're either going to be talking about a hypothesis or you're going to be talking about an observation. I know that an observation is not one of these three, but just bear with me. I promise it will make sense. Okay, so a hypothesis is a educated guess. So this is when you see something and you make a guess as to why something is happening. Observation, on the other hand, is noticing what you literally observe, whether you're in class in an experiment. So observing, actually seeing stuff. Now, these two things will turn into either a law or a theory. Now, a hypothesis will always turn into a theory. On the other hand, observations, if they keep happening over and over and over again, will always turn into law. So hypothesis will turn into theories. Observations will always turn into law. And these questions will help you knowing which one is which. If you can answer the question why or how something is happening, it's definitely going to be a theory or a hypothesis. It just depends on whether you're at the start or when this stuff keeps happening over and over and over again. So if the question answers why something's happening, how it happens, it's a theory. On the other hand, if the question, if you ask a question and you say what is happening, that's going to be observation or a law. So what's happening? Oh, it's raining outside. What's going on outside? It's raining. That's observation. You're actually seeing something. And if it happens over and over and over again, it turns into a law. All right, so now A, B, and C. Falling barometric pressure precedes the onset of bad weather. So is this an educated guess? Is anybody guessing here? Or is there an observation? Is someone observing something? Oh, definitely it's observation, right? Falling barometric pressure precedes the onset of bad weather. So, what's preceding the onset of bad weather? Falling barometric pressure. So, you're asking what? So, this whole idea of falling barometric pressure precedes, comes before bad weather, is a law. Which means that time and time again, this falling barometric pressure keeps dropping and dropping every single time bad weather is going to come about. And that's why it's a law. B. All life on Earth has evolved from a common primitive organism through the process of natural selection. What question is coming into your mind with this sentence? Well, this is a why or how question. The process of natural selection is this whole idea in how, see how I put that word there, how life evolved. Now, this has been tested and tested and tested again. So this is a theory. Now for C, it says my truck's gas mileage has dropped significantly, probably because it's due for a tune-up. This is a guess. Probably, maybe, we're all guessing here. And since this is a guess, it's a good guess, it's an educated guess, therefore, this would be a hypothesis. Hopefully this helped, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe if this helped you out, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Take care now. Bye-bye.